I wanted to take a little video to show all the irises that are blooming in my yard right now. This is a new rose I just got. I've got to find a place for it, but it's beautiful. It's yellow. It's called California Peace. So I'm going to just pan back and you see the arbor. And here's the new rose I just put um, flanking either side of the arbor. So we'll just pan to see these irises and that rose that's blooming over there. That is. And the apple tree just finished flowering. And we have eggplants in the pot right there. And, um, this is kind of new over here. This um, I just moved the rose there and the shrubs lining the house. They're new as well. The strawberries are blooming. I should mention that. So this way um, we have a grape and it needs to be relocated. It's not happy there. And here's my first espalier, <laughs> and it's hap it's uh I think it's doing okay. I might have to move it. So we have um, the abandoned walkway. That's new since last year. You sh used to be able to just cut right through here. Um, oh, that's a plum tree, and we've got the roses are blooming, and here's the iris. There's a shot of the yard from this angle. And here's the hawthorn, or almost finished flowering. Here's an up close of this iris here. It almost looks black. And this one, Baltic Sea, lovely blue. And the white is just starting right there. The Egyptian onions are coming on strong. That's them right there. And here's the blue iris. So look back this way. Go back this way. Here's some tomatoes and some pots. And here's the borage. It's a monster. And there's yarrow at the seed of the borage right there. And let's see what's going on over here. We've got echinacea coming up on this side, some lettuce and some morning glories. And here I'm right at uh, the other abandoned walkway. This used to cut through all the way, but it doesn't anymore because this tree's in the way and it's here now. We've got plums um, that are maturing or they're growing on this plum tree. And here's um, the Echinacea and Rubicchia bed and they're multiplying. Here's more irises that are preparing to bloom. So this is the new vegetable bed that I planted and we have a couple of spots where the Tomatoes are missing. They blew away in the wind, so I'm going to have to replace them. And we've got some eggplant right there, and there's some more tomatoes, and some Swiss chard. And this tree right here is the apricot tree, and um, you can see the fruit right there in the apricot. So underneath the apricot is another bed that I'm growing tomatoes in. And it's going to be dappily shade. We're going to see how well they do. So I've got um, raspberries in pots that are flowering right up against the wall here.
And there's my cat. <laughs> Go back over this way and look at the central bed here. It's got more tomatoes and it's got a few peppers in it and a couple of um, zucchini. And here's some peppers and eggplants and tomatoes and uh, a cucumber that I'm going to plant. I've got um, this is a kumquat tree right here that's planted. And I'm going to pan over here. You can see this is a herb garden. And um, things are just, they're thriving. Here's the other kumquat tree right there against that column, that pillar. And here's um, this vantage point. These irises. So let's continue on. We've got um, this corner right here, and that's mullein. It's preparing the flower, and here's some more iris that are taking over, and they're really a lovely light purple color, almost a pink. And so we'll head this way and pick up the corner as we go. We'll come back to the greenhouse. Here's a peach tree, and it has peaches on it. She can find some to focus in. On. There's some right there. And panning, we've got California poppies. And here's some strawberries. Right here. I don't know if you can see those very well because of the shadow. The sun is coming out. Okay, there's some more strawberries. And um, over here, we've got the asparagus is finished. Um, and it's so it's leafed out completely, and we've got poppies just starting to flower. And so this is my poppy bed, and I've got a vegetable bed here that's new um, since last year's garden walkabout video. And I'm just going to step through here so I can show you the kale that's growing. And there's kohlrabi. I can pick up one of those. There he is right there, the white one. And there's purple too. And then there's this one. So let's go into the greenhouse. See what's going on in there. The peas are still uh, really going strong here. See, I've got to pick them today. They're really, uh, they're getting huge. Lots of peas. And at the base of the peas are some tomatoes that are planted. These are cherry tomatoes, the striped zebra ones. They're delicious. They're my favorite ones. It's called Violet Jasper. So I'm going to just step outside of this and pan around again. Here's um, the cucumbers that are going to use this support like last year. And so um, here's the garden from this vantage. And you can see this new bed. I'm still working it out. Um, working on the aesthetics of it and just I'm continuing to amend the soil, but I've got um, this apple tree, which is a new addition to the garden, so um, I'm thinking about placing it right here so it can flank um, the other one that you can see through the patio. They'll be equal on either side of the garden. I thought that looked pretty strong and be a good aesthetic. Here's um, Pam's honeysuckle, and this is some lilies and some... Um, cannas that I've put here and this area is my next garden bed. I'm going to be developing this whole entry to the garden and because uh, it it needs some focus now. So that's going to change. That honeysuckle should take over that wall eventually.
I'm going to put a trellis up for it to grow on. So I'm just panning back around. Um, so that's it. That's the garden walk. And um, I, ho I hope that you've enjoyed the tour.